Hi everyone, it's Leanne with Lovely Scrappin' here. I just wanted to show you a quick tutorial on how I achieve this really bubbly, puffy look. Now, I've done a tutorial before, um, a long time ago, on the rustic kind of technique, and it's using the same idea, and a lot of people might already do this with the bubbling of the acrylic paint, and they become really puffy and dimensional. And this is just using, um, bring it up closer, just chipboard, um, like the swirl there is just like this kind of a thin chipboard embellishment piece. It looked like that at one time. And then the letters are just a little bit thicker of a, a chipboard. And um, yeah, you get this really gorgeous, rustic, sort of fun, bubbly look. I love how it turned out. And I'm going to take this a step further and just do some buffing with some gold paint um, or gold rub and buff. to go with the project I'm doing, so I'll show you that on my completed project. You'll see it um, when I do the video. But for the time being, I have a little bit of paint left and I figured why not show you guys how I do it. So I've made a mixture of um, a bunch of colors <laughs> from a hot metallic pink, um, a pearlized white, a drop of this wild honey reinker, and oh, a little bit of bronze. Uh, metallic acrylic paint to get this kind of a peachy pink color. I had to play with a lot of um, colors to get the color I wanted to go with the project I'm doing. So um, yeah, you just have fun with your acrylic paints and your reinkers and all kinds of stuff and get the color you want. And then just get your chipboard piece. I'm just going to do another one of these flourishes. And I'm just going to do a basic layer. But anyway, so just do a basic coat over top of your chipboard embellishment piece and you can you know, die cut pieces from Tim Holtz's X or whatever you want to get your embellishment piece and once you have it covered just take your heat tool and I'm just going to heat set it and don't worry if it bubbles because you want that it's kind of cool I tap down those bubbles and dry again. Where it bubbles up, I tap it down and then dry again. When it's pretty much dry, I do another coat. And I like to do the coat fairly thick. The thicker it is, the better it'll bubble and the more dimension you'll have. There's another layer. I kind of like to move it away from where I painted so it doesn't kind of get dried down onto my craft mat. And with this one, I like to do three layers all together. So this is the second layer, so I'm going to tap down the bubbles a bit gives it some texture. Okay. And then one final layer. And you want to do this layer very thick. So with this final layer, you're not going to tap down the bubbles. You're just going to let it continue to bubble. And then um, you'll notice the movement in the bubbles stop, and when the movement stops, it means it's dry. But you want to be careful. Like for this, I don't mind it overcooking, so to speak, where it gives it a little bit of a an orange kind of color because it's almost burning it. That's what I want because it goes with the color that I'm working with. But if you don't want that look, then just you know put the heat tool on it a bit and then take it away and then put it on it just so it doesn't heat up too hot. Because you don't. Some people might want not want it to burn if you don't want it to discolor the paint in any way. Okay, so it's going to bubble like crazy because it's really thick as it heats up. And you could go a step further, you could do this again, you know, and, and have another layer if you want. Just keep going until you get the texture that you like. See how the bubbles are kind of moving with the wind? Eventually that it'll, it'll stop. Once the movement has stopped, it has dried. Oops, it's dried. So you just want to be careful because there is air pockets in there, right? So if you touch it and push it down, they will pop. It'll give you another cool textured look. But if you want the really bubbly look, don't um, try not to 
push it down too much and just let this sit for about 10 minutes to strengthen a little bit because it's still warm and a little bit soft so anyways you guys I hope you like it it's super fun there's just an idea um, yeah I just figured as I was doing this project I may as well share you know the process of it a little bit so you guys um, for those of you who don't know this technique or have never done it before um, can try it out I hope you guys like it have fun creating happy scrapping bye mm -hmm.